Praise the Lord and God bless you on this morning. I hope you are doing well. I hope all is well within your home. And I hope that you did not receive any bad news throughout the night or had to wake up to any. And I just wanted to bring the daily devotional from The Power of Prayer by Ian Bounds. And the topic this morning is earnestness versus anointing. This is so good. I read over it a few times before I decided to record it. And it's very, very good. Earnestness versus anointing. So true. Hebrews 11 and 1 is the scripture. It says, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Often, earnestness is mistaken for anointing. He who has the divine anointing will be earnest in the spiritual nature of things. Earnestness may may mean being sincere, serious, ardent, and preserving. But all these forces cannot rise higher than the mere human. The man is in it, the whole man, but God might not be in it. Earnestness could be selfishness in disguise. (laughs) What about the anointing? It is the indefinable aspect of preaching, which makes it preaching. Anointing is that which disguises and separates preaching from all mere human speeches and presentations. It is the divine aspect in preaching. Woo, that was so good. Thank you, Jesus. And the prayer says, dear God, when I come to you in prayer, I want to pray selflessly and that by your grace, I may receive the anointing of your Holy Spirit. Please guide me. Amen. I was just thinking there is no, ain't no point of trying to do nothing for God without the anointing. It is the anointing that destroys the yokes. It is the anointing that heals the people. It's without the anointing, there is no point. I can't help but, I know of people right now who are pursuing gospel careers and there's no anointing. There's no anointing. And, and I mean gospel singing careers. And I was like, you know, I just, I asked the Lord to give them the anointing because that's what's going to help. You may be able to sell some records, but it's, 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 we're living in a time. And it's, I think it's always been, we always say we're living in a time, but really people have always needed the anointing. You know, so we don't need just a beautiful voice or, oh, that boy can sing. Oh, that girl show can sing. Oh, that girl can dance. That, but we don't need just that. I've seen so much talent. I've even seen people walk in their gifts, but there is no anointing present. And I don't know about you, but it's nothing like hearing someone preach and there's no anointing. I you talking about falling asleep, child, you're gonna find me in the back. I try to be respectful, but my God. So let's let's pray for everybody in ministry. Um that the anointing of God will be present. It's not about us anyway. It's not about me, what I do. It's not about the pastors when they get up there to preach. It's not about the dancers when they get up there to dance. It's not about anybody who's in the ministry, even though people want their name to be in lights, but it's not about you. It's about Jesus Christ. And maybe that's why he hasn't given the anointing to some people. Let me stop right there because I go on and on. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. This really blessed me because it's so true and it's serious. There are people who are hurting. There are people who need, who need the anointing. They don't just need, oh, my God, if God woke us up, he woke us up on purpose to walk in our purpose and don't miss the message looking for the mess. God bless.